Yo, literally minutes after I posted my previous video, Dokener decided to drop a massive bomb on all of us by releasing what I believe to be the official details for the upcoming LR Gohan and LR Cell that are going to be featured in the Dual Dokkan Fest for the 300 million download celebration. Let's talk about it, alright? We got Super Saiyan Gohan Youth. I'm so excited, guys. Holy crap. Um, this is his pre transformation, pre active skill form. Leader skill, Kamehameha category. So, a brand new category. We don't know who's in it, but I assume that anybody that can use Kamehameha is going to be in it. Uh, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%, or super AGL types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 120%. So, not quite a dual category lead, more like a 120 lead and a category lead. And uh, of course, this means this Gohan's going to be a super AGL type LR. Passive skill is attack and defense plus 100%. Key plus 1 plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% at the start of each turn. Key up to plus 5% and attack and defense up to a hun uh, up to 70%. So there's a cap on the key and attack and defense increases. And the most you can get is key plus 5 and attack and defense plus 170%. His special or super attack, 12 key raises defense and causes colossal damage. And the 18 key raises defense and causes mega colossal damage. And the active skill can be activated. Now this is kind of iffy, kind of interesting. Um, I know a lot of people out there are kind of upset about this. Can be activated when HP is 58% or less with Android 16 on the team or when HP is 58% or less with an existing Android category ally or enemy starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only. So basically, um, it's kind of weird to be honest. Like, I assume that the Kamehameha category will not have uh, Android 16 because he doesn't use the move, right? So the only way you can really activate this with a Kamehameha category team is with the second part of that of that condition, which is if you have like uh, a cell on the team, right? Like an LR cell or like a tech cell or whatever, like one of, one of the cells, one of the perfect cells. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect cell, but a cell on the team, which is an Android ally, um, and then you have to, you would have to wait until you are under 58% HP and after the fifth turn of the battle. So if that's the case, man, it's going to be really hard, like really, really hard to activate this active skill. And that's why I've seen a lot of outrage out there already about this. Um, one interesting, interesting thing at the very top, like right corner here is a picture or an image for an Android 16, right? And I don't believe that is an existing Android 16 in the game. So maybe there is going to be I'm assuming actually there's going to be a new Android 16 added to the game as part of his banner and maybe he's going to be a super AGL type so we can include him you know on the team with that like second part of the active skill or, or not active skill leader skill possibly but uh, yeah it's kind of a weird restriction man like it really is um and from what I can see right now yeah the active skill might be pretty difficult to uh get off unless I'm missing something here like I said man this literally just dropped so there's a lot of stuff that's still up in the air a lot of stuff I'm still not sure about. Just trying to get this news out to you as soon as possible. And uh, once he transforms with the active skill, we get Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. Leader skill stays the same. Passive is now a kind of nuking passive. Attack plus 20% and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, which is pretty insane. 20% is very high. Plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. Uh, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when facing only one enemy. Launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies. And plus an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack. And your team has Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn. So uh, once again, a very, very restrictive... Like the, the, the last part of his passive is like really, really good. That 59% is going to be huge, right? But you need a Super Saiyan Goku on the same rotation attacking in the same turn in order for you to get that. It also has to be an ultra super attack from Gohan to get that 59%. So just a lot of weird restrictions, guys. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, obviously, it's kind of hard to like judge a card sometimes just like on paper on the surface. But um, I'm not loving all the restrictions here. But even so, without that last part, I mean, 20% attack and 7% defense uh, per key sphere obtained is fantastic. And of course, the additional key makes it easier for him to get that. Actually, you know what? Another thing about it, uh, with that additional key uh, for every key sphere obtained, it shouldn't be too hard to get his ultra super off. So it's going to be kind of similar to 
uh, LR Gohan, like the original LR Gohan in that sense, where the original LR Gohan, the int LR Gohan, got his 18 key super off all the time. So not too worried about that. Just the fact that you're forced now to run a Super Saiyan Goku on the team, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just, um, you know, it's kind of restrictive. And his super attacks are... Uh, the 12 key is greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. So both are mega colossal damage. It's just with the second one, the uh, 18 key super, he also raises his attack as well. So there's the Gohan guys. And now let's move on to the cell. And I think the general consensus right now, like the very early consensus is that people are more hyped about the cell are more think the cell is better. And uh, let you guys judge that for yourself. I'm just gonna give you the details here. Let me know in the comments which one you guys prefer. Hashtag Team Gohan or hashtag Team Cell is a thing that is trending on Twitter right now, or at least a lot of people in the Zokan community are trying to trend it. So uh, yeah, go for it, man. His leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga category key plus four. HP and attack was 150% and defense was 170% or extreme in types key plus three. HP, attack and defense plus 120%. So of course that means that the cell is going to be extreme int. And one interesting thing, thing to know about his leader skill is that he gives key plus four as opposed to Gohan who gives key plus three for his category. Obviously the distribution is different, but the only reason I can think of for them doing that is that Bandai believes the Kamehameha category is better than the Android slash Cell Saga category overall. And maybe that's why they gave Cell a better leader skill than Gohan. Possibly, that's the only thing that makes sense to me, so I guess we'll have to see. His passive is attack and defense plus 80%, raises defense by up to 80%, the more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. And considering that Cell is going to have LR stats and LR defense, um, that's going to be a crazy amount of defense, guys. He should be very, very tanky, especially at full health. Plus an additional key plus 1, an attack plus 20% per existing enemy, very similar to the physical LR cell where the, the more enemies you're facing, the stronger he is and the easier it will be to activate that 18 key super and evolve when conditions are met. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused about this whole evolve and then transform thing because we don't have another unit in this game with this evolve mechanic so it seems to be some kind of new mechanic that we haven't seen yet so we'll have to wait for more details about that. It says evolve when conditions are met but I don't even see any conditions on this page about the evolution so yeah still a few details missing we'll wait for that to come out later uh, but for the time being let's move on to a super tax the 12 key causes colossal damage and massively lowers defense and the 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and he transforms when facing only one enemy from the third turn after evolution once only and his categories are android slash cell saga resurrected warriors full power androids Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms, and Kamehameha. So as expected, he can actually be put on the category, the same team as the new LR Gohan, and he can be used to activate the new LR Gohan's uh, active skill, even though it's, it's still going to be kind of restrictive. You have to be below 58% HP and pass the fifth turn. So uh, you're, you're not going to see it very often, basically. <laughs> but there's the cell right there. He has eight categories in total, guys. Just... Take a second, take that in. Eight categories, man. This guy is so freaking versatile. He can, I'm sure he's gonna be, you know, better on certain categories than others, but overall, he's he, he's probably gonna be optimal on like most of them. He's, he's really, really good, right? Uh, his transformation, let's talk about that. Uh, here we go. Perfect sale, the true value of perfect form. And the interesting, another interesting thing to note, I know I'm saying interesting a lot, but it is very interesting to me at least. He actually starts off as Cell Perfect Form, which means you can actually put him on the same team as the original LR Cell and also like the EZA Cells, right? Because those guys are called Perfect Cell. The uh, physical LR Cell is uh, Cell, I think Cell and Cell Junior or Perfect Cell and Cell Junior or something like that. And this guy is Cell Bracket Perfect Form. So they all have three different names and or they all have different names, the three of them. So we can put three cells on the same team, which is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. But let's talk about this guy now. Post transformation, leader skill, Android slash Cell Saga, category key plus four. What am I doing? Same leader skill, my bad. Passive, 
fully recovers HP once only, so a full heal when he transforms. T plus 4, an attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with 4 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with 6 or more key spheres obtained, and plus an additional attack plus 20% with 8 or more key spheres obtained. And I'm sure these are... Um, you can you can basically get all of them right so if you have eight key spheres or more you get all three of those buffs he's gonna be doing so much damage guys but not only that he's gonna be tanking so well too and his supers 12 key causes colossal damage and massively lowers defense 18 key causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense and his ultimate attack is solar kamehameha greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to enemy, and massively lowers defense. And there you go, that is perfect sell. And we also talked about Gohan as well. And I want you guys to tell me right now in the comments down below, which one are you the most excited for now that you know their details, now that you know what they do. I used to be team Gohan. I am now hashtag team sell because I gotta say, at least on paper, Cell looks better. Cell does look better. I still want Gohan, no question. 100% want Gohan, but um, I just like the fact that Cell does not have as many restrictions to get him to his full power. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> even though I still still love this Gohan, man, I still love all those animations that we saw, all the previews we saw. He still looks like he's going to be a monster. Um, I think that the fact that Cell is on one more category and the fact that you can get his buffs easier and... Um, the fact that his leader skill seems to be a little bit better and all those things combined seem to make him a better unit. Like I said, we have to see, man. We have to do, see the gameplay. We have to test him out. It's a lot of things up in the air right now, but I gotta say, man, this cell looks absolutely beautiful. Hashtag team cell for me. Let me know which team you're on right now. Obviously, you can have, you can want both, but... Which one do you prefer, one or the other, Cell or Gohan? Oh, and one more quick update from Dokkan Air on Twitter, credits to Dokkan Air. He says, two more new cars are coming, an Android 16 and a Cell Junior, which is what we see in the corner of uh, the Cell card and the Gohan card respectively. And the dual Dokkan Fest will arrive on August 29th. So basically two days after the celebration officially begins. We now have the details for the cards. We now have the accompanying, probably non Dokkan Fest cards that are coming with them as well. And we have the official release date for the dual Dokkan Fest as well. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below who you prefer. And also, as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you'll stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.